Here we are again. Welcome to the boardshop.co.uk surfboard review. Uh, another board from the stable of Mark Phipps this time. Um, the big bad egg. The grumpy uncle to the one bad egg. <coughs> we love it. So the one bad egg's been a phenomenal success. Um, best selling board pretty much we've ever done. For good reason. It paddles brilliantly, surfs really well. But for, we got a lot of requests from customers who didn't surf that much or were bigger guys, wanted a bit more volume um, to help with the paddling. And they're only ever gonna surf it realistically up to about head high, nothing any bigger. And so the one bad, uh, the big bad egg was born. <coughs> it's got all the DNA and the dynamics, the paddling appeal and ability of the one bad egg, um, but with extra volume crammed in. We haven't changed the outline. The template's pretty much the same. Uh, the volume distribution is the same, it's just all scaled up a little bit. We've chucked it on as a four plus one, uh, because that's what a lot of people ask for. So you've got the option to surf it as a two plus one, quad with a big set of fins, single fin, whatever you like. Interestingly, the early people who have had this have surfed it as a single fin and have loved it. I haven't tried it, so can't comment. Um, volume wise, the 7.0 carries 49 liters, uh, whereas the 7.0 and the one bad egg is about 43 liters. So you can see how scaling up gives you that extra bit of volume. And like I said, for the bigger guys or the less um, frequent surfers, you're going to get the panel power. You won't get quite the performance you would on a normal one bad egg, but for the level of surfing you're at probably, that's ideal. What you want to do is catch loads of waves, get in early and have fun trimming. And once you get on the tail, the board will turn a bit as well. And for heavier guys, obviously you can dominate the board a bit more and make it work. Quick spin around, you can see where all the volume is right through the middle. Enough nose and tail lift to get it um, a little bit maneuverability without killing the paddle power. The concave is not so pronounced in this, the double concave, um, just because the extra volume, but it's right there to help you with paddling and what have you and maintain speed. And then there's V out through the tail. Uh, again, to loosen it up a little bit. Wide points, nice and far forward, and the rocker doesn't come in till fairly late. So paddling wise, you know this thing's gonna paddle like a long board, um, even though it's only seven foot. So um, fin wise, similar to the one bad egg, set it up with a seven, seven and a half, maybe even an eight inch fin if you're gonna ride it with side bites. Um, if you're gonna surf it as a quad, something for like big front fins, big upright front fins will work best, and then the, the rears. If you're gonna surf it as a single fin, Stick wherever you want in it and give it a go and see what happens. Who knows? Um, it's going to be a lot of fun and it's just right on the button for an awful lot of guys who aren't lucky enough to live by the coast, or girls who live by the coast or don't get to surf as much as they'd want to. So there it is, the Mark Phipps Big Bad Egg. <laughs>